Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Uh, I have talked a lot in the past about food addiction and my struggle with moderation. The fact that I can't moderate carbs or sweets. Um, I can't have one chip or one cookie. I'm going to end up eating the whole bag or the whole sleeve of Oreos. One of the scariest times for somebody who struggles with moderation and food addiction is the holidays. And with a couple months left in the year, we have Thanksgiving and Christmas coming up. Things are, this is a pretty high time of high anxiety for me um, when I get really tempted and I struggle with what to do. So I'm going to talk about how I handled it last year and then how I'm going to handle it this year. To be honest, this video might not be for you. If you are somebody who can go to their work Christmas party and enjoy some sweets and um, have fun and eat some carbs and get back on track the next day, I think that's great. But I also think that there's an acknowledgement that I have that I am not somebody who can do that. And that having that one you know, party where I eat some carbs and eat some sweets would potentially cause me to slip up and not be able to get back on track for the rest of the holiday season. It's that giving myself permission to eat whatever I want for the next several months. And so if that is somebody who is you, this is a video that hopefully will be helpful to you. I also will give you some tips that I have used when I'm going to meet with family, going to other people's houses for the holidays, and hopefully some ideas to help you push through and um, make it through the holidays, feeling good, having a great time, and yet staying on track with your goals and your eating. So let me tell you, I know that the first holiday that's coming up is uh, the U.S. Thanksgiving. And last year, my husband and I have a small family. So last year we decided we were gonna go out. It's just my husband and I and the kids. This year we have some other family that's coming to town, but we decided we were gonna go out and go to Fogo to Chow for Thanksgiving. Um, who says you have to stay home and have a traditional Thanksgiving meal with all the food? And we realized that cooking all that food was gonna cause us a lot of anxiety, let alone we didn't want to be eating all that food or have it in our house. So with us not having to accommodate other people, that did make things a little easier. Um, you know, Fogo de Chao is a place you can get all you can eat meat on skewers. It's a little expensive, especially on the holidays. However, for us, it ended up being a good treat and it was a really nice change, uh, a special time for us and our family to enjoy when, you know, we weren't gonna be making turkey and all the fixings. If that's not an option for you, my suggestion would be to you know, say that you have to go to some in-law's house or family's house for Thanksgiving, or even if you're supposed to host it for a big family. To be honest, I think I would eat a big steak before I went to somebody else's house, uh, especially for a Thanksgiving meal. I would cook myself a steak or have some meat before I went. Then when I was at the party or at the meal, there's things that you can have hopefully on Thanksgiving. Typically turkey is pretty traditional. Uh, there might be some other kinds of meat I would munch on some turkey, maybe the deli tray that was there, some meats and cheeses, um, but it's not something that I wouldn't feel the need to eat a lot of food when I was at somebody else's house because I've already eaten. And so if I had already eaten a big steak, I'm feeling good and full and satisfied. So munching on a little bit of turkey, being social and visiting, being able to sit down and still have a plate in front of me. Um, on that holiday would be still possible. I just wouldn't feel the pressure to eat a lot of foods that I wasn't comfortable eating. So that would be my suggestion for Thanksgiving. When you're looking at Christmas, um, we last year we splurged a little bit. We bought some expensive steaks. For us, holidays means expensive steaks and we'll buy some prime steaks. Chris got a giant prime New York strip. I got a giant tomahawk ribeye. We got those giant crab legs from Costco and had a meal of surf and turf. Um, there are some ways I choose to indulge around the holidays and that might be something as simple as eating cheese or eating twice in a day. If I'm going to snack on something, maybe I will snack on Christmas day while everybody else is sitting around eating cookies and cakes. I might give myself a treat of, you know, making up some cheese and salami sticks or having something that's some, not something that I would eat every day, um, or that I have a part of my daily life, but maybe I'll snack on some foods, carnivore foods, to give myself that treat for Christmas uh, and then be able to get back on track. I think you have to realize what is going to help you stick to your goals and what's going to cause you to stumble. 
one of the biggest temptations for me around the holidays is simply just the limited edition items that you can't get any other time of year. And I would indulge tremendously on all these items just because they were being sold as limited edition or one time only and the boxes and boxes of Christmas cakes that I would consume normally because that's the only time of year you can get them. Um, and at this point, I just tell myself that, you know what, if, if, Depending on where I'm at in my life, they'll be there next year and they'll be there the year after that and maybe they won't. But right now, I would rather have a big giant steak and feel better and try to keep myself on track because I know that, you know, I'm not capable of just having one of those treats that's new for the holidays and it would really throw me off track for the rest of the year. So um, I feel better and stronger sticking to plan and not having any of those treats at all. For me, the holidays have become trying to create traditions for my family that are not centered around food and finding fun activities for us to do together. We plan one big extravagant meal for each of the major holidays and we kind of go all out. It's cheaper for us to buy some really expensive steaks than it is to buy a Thanksgiving dinner and all the fixings or to go out or to do all the traditional Christmas treats. So we use that to indulge get yourself some fancy duck that you've never had or a really expensive prime rib and enjoy that celebration. Give For me, it's about giving myself the permission to eat whatever foods I want on plan in the moment. And if that means snacking when I typically wouldn't, as long as it's foods that fit within my plan, I'm fine with it. And that's to me the little extra treats that I give myself and it will keep me from restricting myself so much that I end up grabbing some cookies or grabbing something that's off plan for me. So use your support systems, reach out to those around you and we'll make it. We'll check in January 1st. <laughs> Thanks guys for watching.